Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JusticeGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to get a slightly more realistic looking old photo effect in Photoshop. So with your photo open, head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. Here you want to make sure you check the Colorize box and we're going to adjust the settings here. Now a lot of times you notice on old photos, they don't always fade perfectly to black and white. So this is where we're going to add that distorted tint of color. So I like to use that faded bluish green that you often see in old photos. So something around 210 for the hue. And then definitely turn the saturation down a lot to about 5 to 10, depending on your preference. So I'll use 10 for this tutorial. And then also I like to turn the lightness down about 10 just so it's not so bright and new looking. So adjust those settings slightly to your liking and then we're going to create one more adjustment layer and that's curves. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, curves. On this adjustment layer I'm going to add one anchor point about 25 percent up the line and then you're just going to drag the bottom left corner upwards about to this level so you'll get a bit of that fade on the blacks. So you can see my dot is at an input of 0 and an output of about 35. So once you have that adjusted to your liking we can just do one or two final touches to create our final image. So head over to your original photo, right click and convert it to a smart object. This way we can add some smart filters on there. So head over to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just use something very light, maybe one to two pixels, just to blur up the photo a little bit, make it look a little bit more old looking. Also, if you'd prefer, you can go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and you can add a small percentage of fuzz and noise, maybe just two to five percent. I like to keep it light, so maybe two. So press OK. Since we created them as smart filters, you can always double click on any of the filter and adjust the parameters again, it's not final. So once you're happy with everything, you'll have your old school looking photo effect with that realistic tint of color that often happens when these photos fade. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.